Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Honkai Star Rail working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac version of this game, so therefore we're going to be running the Windows desktop version through Windows 11 ARM. We're going to be using the virtual machine software called Parallels in order to get this to work. Now it's not a simple Parallels install, there are some quirks and settings that we need to tweak in order to get some of the graphics working correctly. However, you can see here it's working very smoothly, we're running this on very high settings at 1080p and it runs pretty much perfectly on the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the full process of how to get this to work. We're going to be using macOS Ventura, we're going to be installing Parallels and Windows 11 ARM and we're going to get the Honkai Star Rail launcher working and we're going to be entering specific commands to make sure that the graphical issues do not appear. And we're going to get Honkai Star Rail working as well as possible on an Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. If you do make a purchase after following this link then I'm going to receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that I make. So once you click the link you'll get to this parallels page. What we can do is click the buy now button. We can click new license here. So at this stage what I would do is to press the compare button here and here you can see a comparison between the standard and the pro edition. I'll say that for most people the standard edition is enough. You only really need to allocate 8 gigabytes and 4 CPU cores in order to get the best out of gaming. However if you want to take the most advantage of your system's resources then you're going to need the pro edition. So let's say that we make a purchase of the pro edition and click buy now. Here we have the option to enter a coupon code. If you enter the coupon code AppleWiki10 then you're going to get a 10% discount. However if you don't want to make a purchase you can also download a free trial which I'm going to do today. Make sure that this is the right software for you and if you do decide to make a purchase then make sure to follow that link again. So here I'm going to click download free trial and then we're going to open up Finder and then go to our downloads folder, double click on install parallels desktop.dmg and then we're going to have this installer. So I'm going to double click on install parallels desktop and it's saying here that this is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open it? Press open. Here we're going to press the accept button and then this is going to go ahead and start downloading parallels desktop. So now it's saying here that it's installing parallels desktop. Here we're going to enter our local user password, press OK. Here it's initializing and now we're going to go through the installation assistant. So the first thing that's going to do is to download and install Windows 11 ARM. So what I'm going to do here is to click the install Windows button and it's going to go ahead and create a brand new virtual machine. So what's cool about Parallels is that you don't have to register for the Windows Insider program. This is just directly downloading Windows 11 ARM from the internet. So just wait for this to complete. We're downloading four gigabytes of data. So once the download's complete, it's automatically going to go ahead and complete an installation. What we're going to do here is press click to continue and here we're going to see that we need to accept the Windows license agreement, press accept. And now you can already see that we've logged into Windows 11 in this little window here. I can minimize this browser window and you can see that this is the Windows 11 ARM desktop. We have our internet connection, we have sound working and all of the integrations are all there. If you want to full screen this just press the green button here. If the resolution's wrong you can right click here, click on display settings and then normally what I like to do is to tweak the scale down to 100% so it looks a little bit more like a standard Windows desktop. So now we're ready to download Honkai Star Rail so just click on your Microsoft Edge browser and we're going to do a search for Honkai Star Rail and we want to go to the Hoyoverse website. So just click on the top link here and basically we want to do the standard Windows installer. So I'm going to click the download now button and then we're going to select the Windows version of the game. So just click on this now and this is going to download the launcher. So once that's files downloaded you can just press open file or you can go to file explorer and then go to your downloads folder and then going to find the file here. So just double click on star rail setup, press yes and then we're going to go ahead and close these windows. We're going to press the I have read and agreed to these term of service, press install. So it's saying installation is complete but that's really just the launcher. We have our shortcut here and what it's really going to do is to start the download process. So here it's going to install in a default location within the virtual machine and then what we're going to do is press the download button here and then it's going to start the download process which is 10 gigabytes. So just kind of wait for that to complete before we can move on to the next step. So once the game is downloaded it's going to be unzipping game resources so this has to complete too so just wait for that to finish. So now the game is fully installed we're ready to press the play button and then launch the game. Here we're just going to allow access through the Windows Defender firewall and we can see the game warnings here. So now we can go ahead and enter our username and password. So we're going to get our verification email and then type it in. And now that we're verifying we're going to agree to all of the terms of service and privacy. And now we can go ahead and select our region and click on the screen to start the game. Here it's downloading additional resources and it's going to restart. Just press confirm. So if for whatever reason the screen doesn't come up, then just press Control Shift and Escape. That's going to bring up the task manager and then we'll just right click on Star Rail and then end task. And then what we'll do is we'll manually reopen the game here by just pressing play again. 
and now the game is logging in correctly and we can press start game again and then the game is launching. So now we're downloading another patch which is two gigabytes so just wait for that to finish. So now that's downloaded, we are finally ready to go for real. Click to start anywhere to start the game. So you can see that the game runs at a very decent frame rate on this virtual machine. So quit out of here and go into graphic settings. I'd prefer to change the graphic settings to something a little bit lower, take down the resolution to say 1080, and then keep it at this kind of low setting just to demonstrate that this works. And then here, I'm just going to make sure that this is playable. So you might notice a few graphical issues. For example, these wall textures are not being rendered correctly at certain camera angles and I'm going to show you how to fix that now. So what we need to do is to basically shut down the game. So what we need to do is exit out of the game and then what we need to do is to shut down the virtual machine. And next what we're going to do is to go to parallel settings, click on the parallels icon here and then go to control center. And then we'll click on the cog icon here to go into settings. And then what we want to do is go into the hardware setting here and then scroll down on the left sidebar and go to boot order, then click advanced. And then we want to type in this boot flag video dot untrimmed underscore dynamic underscore C buffers equals one. And then this is going to bypass some of those graphical issues. We can press OK here, close these configuration and then relaunch the virtual machine. So now I'm going to relaunch Honkai Star Rail, press the play button. And now that we're back in the game, you can see that this texture issue no longer rears its ugly head. We can look at all the angles of this door and none of those textures become invisible or pop out of existence. So that basically fixes the texture issue on this particular game. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel. If you want to find out how to play Honkai Star Rail without using a virtual machine, there is another method using Play Cover and also another method using YAAGL or yet another anime game launcher. I'll be linking those in the description once those videos are created. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.